We say that the vectors v1 up to vk are affinely independent if the vectors 1 v1 all the way up to 1 vk are linearly independent. So these vectors here are basically the original vectors with an extra component containing the value 1. From this definition, we can see that any singleton set of vectors is going to be an affinely independent set. For example, the set consisting of just the zero vector is an affinely independent set. Now, if k is at least 2, there are two other ways to test affine independence. The first is that none of the vectors v1 up to vk can be written as an affine combination of the remaining vectors. And the other way is if you look at the vectors v2 minus v1, v3 minus v1, and so on up to vk minus v1, they are linearly independent. So for example, suppose I'm looking at the vectors 2, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 1. In order to determine if they are affinely independent, what I can do is I can look at the vectors 1, 0, minus 2, 0, and 1, 1, minus 2, 0, and see if they are linearly independent. Now, these two vectors are minus 1, 0, and minus 1, 1, respectively. And these are clearly linearly independent. And so these three vectors here are affinely independent. It is not difficult to prove from the definition that these two are equivalent for the case when k is at least 2. The details will be left as an exercise.